All right. Um, so they're asking us to write the equation, correct? Yes. Uh, I think. For number five. Yes. Write the equation. All right. So if I write the equation, the first thing, guys, we at least we can do is write down what is the equ um, form of the equ equation of a circle. Right. So it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So now we know what, e what the equation has to look like. Now let's take the piece of information and see what is it we have. They, div <coughs> they give us the center, which we know is in the form of h comma k. They give us a point on the circle. And now when, you guys were, when we talked about a circle, the equation of a circle, I said that h comma k is the center. And any point on the circle can be represented as x comma y. Right? And the distance from the center to any point is r. All right? Now, we need to figure out, now when we write an equation, like on the last one, last problem, I said x squared plus y squared equals 36, right? So we leave our equation in terms of x and y's because they represent all the points of the circle. However, they give us h and k. Do they give us r, though? No. No. So if I can plug in. If I can plug in values for y, k, y, h, y, and k, but leave r unknown, could I then solve yes. for r? Yes. yes. So do I have anything I could plug in for x and y? Well, I have this point that is given to me on the circle. So then what I'm going to do is plug those points in and then solve for r. Once I know r, I'll plug that into the equation with the center. So therefore, I have x, which is negative 2, minus my center, which is negative 4. This is question number 5. y is 3 minus negative 1. All right? So now I do um, negative 2 minus a negative 4, which is going to be, um, that's going to be positive, so that would be 2 squared. Huh? Okay. Yeah, we're trying to solve for the radius. Okay. That becomes 4. 3 minus that, that becomes 4 squared equals r squared. Well, 2 squared is 4, plus 4 squared is 16 equals r squared. 20 equals r squared. Now, again, the formula says, what is r squared? We know r squared is 20. And now that we know what r squared is, or our radius, and we know the center, we can go back to our general form, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Again, to write the formula, all we care about is what the center and what the radius is. We use this point to plug it into the formula to find r. Now that we know r in the center, we just plug in the points. So it's x plus 4, because remember, it's opposite of h. Since h is negative, the opposite of negative is positive. So it's x plus 4 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals bank day. r squared is equal to 20. Oh. 20. Now, what is the radius, though? The radius is not 20. The radius is square root of 20, right? Because it's r squared. What we did here was just to figure out what r was. This is the equation of the circle. That's what the question is asking. What is the equation of the circle? But we have to do that too? Yeah. You have to, because that's the answer right there. This is just this. We just do this to find r. Once we find r, then we have the radius and we have the well, we have the radius squared and we have the center. Then we can plug it into the formula. All right. So that is one example for you. You guys hopefully can now do example number six.